Right, 6 a.m. Central African time, 16 April. It's a Tuesday morning. A very good morning to you. Wherever you are tuning in from, Siak Vusela, Nalo Mutla, Exeni, Kusile, Breakfast Show, Siak, Tokotela Kulu, Kumanani, Nalo Mutla, Elu, We are going to spoil you with a lot of spoils, including information uh, that uh, will delve into your mind and really make you look at uh, the developments happening around the country differently and further appreciate some of uh, the work that is being done or further criticize some of the work that is being done. Lapa, uh, Evan, very good morning to you. Good morning to you too, Mbuni. Uh, How are you this morning? I'm very well. Give me just a bit of a little 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 bit of a Majesty. I was just looking at our marketing department being flocked with a lot of companies. Yeah. Just want to take this moment to talk to companies. You can come and inquire with our marketing department per usual. Every year around this time, you always see those adverts, uh, those 30 seconds, 15 seconds clips where companies wish His Majesty the King from uh, their executive, their board of directors and the management as well as staff where you can wish His Majesty the King a happy 56th birthday. Just get in touch with our marketing department. It should be very, very affordable. But looking at the numbers, the uh, line level corner of marketing throughout you know, the whole of last week and yesterday. Skati Sestnanega Kulunga but yeah, on that note, we do have an exciting program. You, yeah. you do want to talk about World Health Day. World uh, Health Day. This is the day that is commemorated on the 7th of April. Right. Right. World uh, Health Day. Lila Ngagele Kukupa, the anniversary of the founding of EWHO in 1948. Wow. And each year, Kukupa, a theme that is selected to highlight a priority area of public health concern in the world. This year's theme is My Health, My Right. Lila Ngagele Kukupa, the anniversary of the founding of EWHO in 1948. And she each year, Kukupa, a theme that is selected to highlight a priority area of public health concern in the world. This year's theme is My Health, My Right. Lila Ngagele Kukupa, the anniversary of the founding of EWHO in 1948. And she each year, Kukupa, a theme that is selected to highlight a priority uh, we will be talking to the Deputy Director of uh, Clinical Services, Dr. Bongiwe Malinga, at Nineteen forty eight, that's a long time ago. Yeah. yeah, so far. The world has come so far. Particularly the Tempi, the World Health Organization is a really old organization, by the way. We do want to also look at Inzaba Ye Detek Vagasha Lomo following Kutsi Eswatini Tourism Authority. So when Light Dolo release their monthly tourism statistical release. Namutlage si ne pleasure ye kokusana na Vusilamin, who is the new chief executive officer of Eswatini Tourism Authority. We, we want to delve into the remarkable performance and strategic insights of Eswatini tourism sector with a notable 23.4% increase in arrivals compared to the previous year. Mr. Lamini will help us shed you know, some light on the factors driving the growth as well as how it aligns with the authority strategic objectives. We want to explore the regional and overseas markets, emerging trends, sustainability efforts, as well as the crucial role really of 
collaborations in, uh, in shaping a Swatini's tourism landscape. So, Kukusana, now Mr. Lamini, the Chief Executive Officer, the new Chief Executive Office of Swatini Tourism Authority, by the way. It's quite a lot of ground we want to cover regarding that uh, monthly tourism statistical release. Objectives yeah, right about now, as book my newspaper headlines. Times of leading headlines. His Majesty, Miss President Ramaphosa, corner In other news, accountant accused of stealing 1.6 million Malangeni to pay Shylocks. He allegedly diverted employers' money to his drivers and drivers' accounts also paid ghost suppliers. He also is also accused of splashing cash on cars, piece of land and outings. Properties seized through poker. More on page two. Bulletin Tamba Mbili armed guards in farmers bank drama cops called and the public has been warned to stop using that penicillin syrup. Uh Mbili pregnant wife stabs Habi for alleged cheating. Look, Times of Eswatini this uh, Tuesday morning, making the leading story there. Sikali tops league's highest paid players. Um, he's uh, currently number one, juggler, top five of the Premier League's highest earners with uh, 22,000 in Malangi. He plays for Green Mamba. Everyone knows him. Sabelo Nzinisa, followed by Felix Badenhorst at 17 and a half. Banele Pupuskons at 15,000. Bonkosi Lamini, 15,000. And then Leon Manis at 14 and a half. It, it makes me want to go back uh, to playing football. Look at it. You know, <laughs> I actually have a very, very big talent. No talent. I like ball. And I was very <laughs> special. by Atling from Zanabo Primary <laughs> as a high school. Uh, on another one, still no incentives for Green Mamba stars. Quite ironic there, following that uh, headline. Uh, so some Green Mamba players have expressed their disappointment over the lack of communication about incentives following the team's Thanksgiving ceremony. On another one, Wesleyans, Pirates, two others miss out on 100,000 Malagani carrot. It is official. The renowned Manzini teams will now finish outside the top five on the MTN Premier League charts. Scotty Scheffler wins the second Masters title in three years. He did it again. The golf master Scotty Scheffler, a.k.a. Shafu, did it again. Congratulations to him. All right, so moving on to the Swatini Daily News. Your leading headlines, King meets President Ramaphosa on a working visit in South Africa. In other news, public cautioned on tatent, tatent benilin pediatric syrup. More on page two. Yeah. Preparations have been grounded. The national team two-day weekly training sessions have still not started. And this is due to the pending contractual talks between the Aswatini Football Association and incumbent coach Dominic Gunene. Another forces derby for Green Mamba this coming weekend uh, of the Premier League, Eswatini MTN Premier League. And on the international front, Manchester City players enjoy the pressure. All right, it's eight minutes after six. Petala Pole Tamba in Bilik, my Pepanzabo, as he was letting my suspended in the Swati. Kutuchuga kwe mbangu, kutuchuga kwe tinkundla, kutuchuga kwe tinkundla yendu chuko yelive longe. Togotela Lucello, Sivesia Tutuga, Nasiguletella in Tutuga and Mimangwen in Jalonga Bolisitatu, Nasa Ishaya Gabang in Simbiasi Tupago Sisha. 
sive siyatutuba. Sometimes <laughs> La banque de Vomchina va bête et mal, il est tout de l'autre côté de l'autre Ekfige nguwa yo intuvuna yete watisa la pae skolo endes page mesa se ngabane ni umshwa nishwa savana mazea utane ngegu vakashela leli kumbi la pokta ufunze lwa kona tebu trigo. Intuvuna ikongo selega kulu gubantwa be skolo kakuti pati mise ele tifundu entabo ika kulu leso se tibalo se science ganyi nato tebu trigo nje ngoba ngtona tauten segisa liksa salabo lelise. Et vous avez besoin de le le gouvernement, il a oublié que le gouvernement a fait le gouvernement, il 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 a fait le gouvernement, Let's not see tertiary education now. You have to talk about the table. Make sure that they open your eyes, make sure that they show you the world, and then make sure that you go towards that world. Make sure that you use them for the greater good, not for anything bad. Make sure that they enrich you with knowledge. Make sure that they make you leaders. Where you are right now, you may not think that you are leaders. But when we look at you, we look at leaders of today and also leaders of tomorrow. In Vuna, ten fund home, Tonisha, Owen, Nomalo, Bay, Melelung, Mapalare, Lom, Nana, Lom, Sebendi, Nani, Kim Nisi, Loe, Tule, and Gulumoya, Kang, a good say, Abonga, Kulu, Nalo, Lucito, Lolo, Nigatello, Scholar, Sassan, Abane, and Jongoba, Ute, Sifundo, Setebuka Pesha, Scholar, and Simkoga, Kulu, Noba, Sikrichis, Abantuan, and Eloati, Kutegutse, Baba, Baholi, Labane, Loati, Lolchuli, Legu Sasa. The Minister of Education and Training is fully dedicated to the continued strengthening of ICT as a subject and to the use of ICT as a tool for teaching and learning across the entire curriculum in our schools. ICT in, in education as a field of study and its integration in teaching and learning is now essential in our schools. Hence, our schools are compelled to provide learners with technology, competency, skills, assistive technology that will enable them to participate meaningfully in class and succeed in ever-increasing technological world. Tishela lo mkulu gle skolo wa talti ngunene, ubo nge kakulu e tigole te watisa ga ene tigole te mfundu wa ngale sipo, wati lo kukuta ulegele la kakulu e kufuse telele ni shisegelo e bantwa be skolo wa, bo tishela ga ene batali kwe guti batubega batuturisa imi pumela ya le skolo wa, ibe ngle yole mishle njengu babese batali ile. Eti nzabeni te eswati ni TV, ngombo ngwatube, ngabaneni. Nasikangilo kunye nifuna ite watisa ni te Trigo, Mtoni Shua Savana Mazia, Ikubegele Skole Nile Sikulu, St. John Bosco High School, Kyo Nigelela Le Skolo, Angaba Mtongo Mshina. Ntuna Ifige Lulega Guti, Banvana Alaba Kulsege, Nge Gutanza, Mfumvo, Baya Gutonzi Sisa Guti, Kubangu Mholi, Guti, Nge Guti, Usebendize, Mandla, Nelu Lame, Gute Mibono, Ya Kwe Ivaga, Le Fusi Tonishwe. Kutwa Guti, Nga Guti, Usebendize, Ngo Nvo, Le Sele Gile, Na Le Tau, Le Tati, Sombululu, Eti Meni, Le Teshlugene. Ntuna Bayi Hambisana, Nalubega Melele, I'm hoping, Wutsi, you are using these gadgets from today onwards to really, really produce great results. You are young men of the future. What you're going to find out there is young girls of the future. And they are smart. And they are clever. 
and they are ready to take on the world, and they don't need you to take care of them. They can take care of themselves. And I'm hoping that, young men, you are able to show that you can live up to this future. It's not like your mother's or your father's future. The women are ready to take on the world. You better be there to ensure that you're not left behind. We are here to try and assist you to have that future. If you don't take it on, it's your fault. If you don't take advantage of all these resources and use them for your future, it's your fault. Please make sure that you use them. Please make sure you take care of them. Don't steal them. When you steal them, you're stealing other people's future. As Gatti Shell Alamkulu, a scholar, I say, John Post, Cosa Various, and Lulu T, Lulusito, Lamangubamshina, Doba Sita Guti, Basaleba, Palsela, Lulusun for the ICT, Jongaba, Beba Solo, Banga Sending, and Yeguesuela, Bona, Bangubamshina. Sitting over the Skuruga Kulu, Kakulu Kulu, a Bessesele Soto, a la Nalisagiti Scholars, Sister School, Sessen Ends. Sesigata sahamba mbi ni gule ICT. Lama computer lawa ata sita kaku le guti na bana ba ba phones le ICT ba phones na lama computer ika kulu ngoba vile nemshaba wongo so tutugi be kichini swangi yo a fourth industrial revolution in terms of development niyalo sa kupuge a fifth industrial revolution lakisho vile Kutau sita kakulu, ekufunze eni. Labandwa, nakuba lungsele la kuti, bafige, bafite kakle, na pandle. Mvana el tegele tempilo, mchani shwa mtutuzi, matsebula isi ili swatini, selende emeta amore bonagalagu, ekutu iseni tempilo, faya kazi kufunzi isa, nye kufige la tifo. Mvana iti ino meli, tiwoli pegene, neti nsaya, hake pagu kona live, lili ngati shaya sfuba ngago. Mvana bekulu mangas kasi ili swatini, liku palu sugulo tempilo, yotela le happy valley ezulwini. Sikubulo salonyaga, siti impilo yami, lilunge lulami. Le sikubulo, senda kutige lushango zile tempilo, sisho lsise kuti tempilo, tiafinyele la yini, esvense maswati. Ikulu maglo msebendi, invuna yele litigo, umtoni shwa mtutuzu matsebula, itige lkambi, lelungu mangoba kuti sive, sehambise embili nzaba itlandega, kanye negifige la tifo. Imbilo ilunge lulami, nawe, 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 ngamunye, ngamunye, imbilo ilunge lulami. Sisi ya buga ke siltigo, eh, la po sende kona gale, na la po kona kune tikaya. Kwe ya bona gala kutsi tinza bate kshande, ne tinza bate kwe koko kukutsi, kutola gale ema ndila shobile ema kaya, nto na kamba embili. Kungaba kutsa atanje, matiko le sbambise nena wakusa, askube le sbambisane, eh, egwende ni skinse koso kukusi sifes, kole mandila shande gile, ne kufunzi isa kwe kukusi la po ema kaya la slala kone. As make a show with his and the gile, put on the piece and a lady for Lebeseti Iman, Lokanza Gutsi, Nanga Beganes in this engine. There will never be enough budget for a meet. So see leave a woman to a loxis in Bugat in Lila, Tegu Vigela lady for Gutsi Tingafi. Togotela Susan Tembo, Umpatsi and Sanganwek, Sabay Tempi, Kuleli. Utsigele Swatini Vale, Lendaga, Shaka, Kulu, letting it in Sang, what's let for Kayakati. Kukni pisa kwanza kwa ilikuwa nile HIV, kanyige negini pisa lzi nga lekishona kwa bomage ni banvana na babelega. Tembo upinzega wafeta ni tingomo tale nchangano. WHO recommends that we advance the universal health coverage to ensure all people have access to affordable quality care, including increasing funding for essential health, health services and health workforce as well as access to education and information. WHO also recommends that we promote human rights and combat stigma and dis dis discrimination and integrate the needs of vulnerable groups into health programs at all levels. Emati kwa le shugene avete tinshelo le tikona te kukinsegisa kuna gegelega kwe tempilo. La mati kwa kwa afe kati li tiko le temtopo wa pansi ni manja, li tiko le teglima, li tiko le lbuge invelo gaini, li tiko le tetinju. Itinza beni kbiga sondo mlangeni, ezuluini. 
Ivona elti kwa tega vagasha ni dini zaba tume velo mchana shwa chini simela ni ikusata si pega kulu inshaguti ivole matu ba imsebendi ba kei malinge tibi ngalo segula siwe ufaya kati ema plastiki hivona be kulumbanga skati nige lela ibanza lilbuta tibi nza weni yaga shali chini multi purpose cooperative ngelo li yegula isha tibi Varashan itin Zabatem Velo Selinigeli Banda Lili Butali Pinzeli Tings at Tibi, each animal to pay for cooperative, Nelo Legulaisha Tibi Ling and Salo two hundred and seventy seven thousand Malangeni. In Funai Liti Gomplan Shah Jane's Melani Kulumagulum Sebenti, if we do good in Zawa to Futine Matolo, but if Lupa Kulung in Zabai Tibi Nagungola, can't go Magunga Banet in Slangano Liti Fan and each animal to pay for cooperative, leveling up Muleli Slobile. Litin Zawa Liti Futine Matolo Pagi. Dia si lupa kaku lunge tinsa bate TV si live la ganguan. Ngoba songe si ati lugo guti. Ema tolo peni ngula guta kona wonge umonfu. Ato kala umsebendi ato funa umsebendi. Besa kesi si ati ngagi lugo guti leto TV leto. Tia funa lugo guti tiko kwe. Ngoba pela si timbanza gani ili. Nata si ngema swati maswati gati tanza tanza lakula lakula bekon. Sege si bonga kakhulu lokuthi gcine kufikela kule lithuba leli lokuthi sibe nabo make lebathatha leli lithuba lekuhlobisa kashali lebekamele leli hovisi leliphinda mfuna ngikhulu kunomsebenti nomzamo odlamini uthi kulo ahlakabi kwetibi noma kungicola kuyasifaka sandla kuguqukeni kwesimo selitulu namacala nje lamanengi lesi wabona ko endeka ekhaya kephake lokho kukhomba bona kwekuthi unekungalingani kahle Nala a good note. Logo Gaubanga um silver, we bang each other based violence a card. Get Pago, you miss a vendile fala na lane. Oma, it could be got the Yaxini Sega in the gang in Lela, a lele, nalele, bonga bomba, gebo babby, Bacona Bambi, Sana, but it would do ten foot fugo, who can't have put a good long job of Fara and Lobo, who better Sebuye, Tasebuyang. Sikalo wale libanda ije ni multi-purpose cooperative jabulda mini. Utibula lele mapole la ngalo lusito. La pape sa veta kono kutile libanda li timisele kushlobisa renzao ya gashali. Kangina le tinge tinzao la pae veni. Ika kulu wakulu liso letu. La suge la buwa kakulu ma disposable. Kutile renzao ya tu se ingo la kakulu. Se ukanza kila feti shumba no mabe ngupi no mangupi. Fasa se tlanga nage subo maage. E sa upagami sa lukti. Nada Navanja and good sessing against a stangani, Sukona was to see Octel and Lungu, which is Hande, Smutabus, Lama paper, Wong and Alonga, Locona goes the Wussy, they live a little door show by Mac. Can Sili Band and Nina Malunga Lali Shumness, Postong, Lugufa, Cats, Boba, Begging in a bomb maggie. Lobby I think Sabin was in his Razwani, and a Tamba Shabangu, Gashali. Even I'll take a Vagasha and a Tins about them Velum, Tanisha, Jane, Similan, ACM, Tanganini, E Tourism Investment Forum, Africa, Lebo Banjil, Dolopene, Carpanism, Africa, Gukuluni, Sweetings about the Tangana, Guamave, as Africa, to to get any things about the Vagasha, the fire cards of Shell and Alquai. M. Tanganini were Tourism Investment Forum, Africa, Lebo Banjil, and Nings in Africa, Dolopene, Carpa, Infuna, El Tigolo, Tego Vagasha, and a Tins about them Velum, Tanisha, Jane, Similan, a being and Yalum Tangano. Lapo Beguna Hulumende was sending Zim Africa, was some up busy knees, Gaina Labasa Benda Gokang is at the Guvagasha. In Vonites Lamplangano, Oben Lonin Sus and Jongoba Kulumi settings are balletining Logofai Katsi with seventy son of a marvin a good to trugis at the Guvagasha. Gang and a good to trugis at Donkat in Slangot, Logofai Katsi with seventy sat the book to a patient and the seventy sat the Timela. Umanga be Sifuna good to fog. As if Funzeni good to trugis a longer clamots. Sing a bogle de Camba pale. Mzambe de Mokwa, Nedet in Disa. As pins in Sbugay, Nego promoter in Zabaye, who seven desire railway, Bochanji, seven sentity made. He agenda the Kulumanga agenda twenty sixty three. In my aspirations, La Ukunia Conalo Gutti, a gubernum Kubula, where we estimate Losuga a Cape Town, Uyo figure. Eke Lo Kubula loyo bonga seven de la gam nanza kulu et in the ben de matu daga tourism. Pinze footsi kukulu nye nangenza baleti sisendanza bate to daga tourism as in nage iyuti. 
sihambe ni na yole yu umasenda nzabate tourism. What is a pedagogy? Unale international convention on population development. Live in Latin Banzagayagi, Lago to a corner, a Sihanes any demographic dividend, Alice Loom. Ascendance Kinsego Sego Gutsi, Banfula Basha, Umasis Masik Futuga, Sibabega Embil. Lagits Ganguan, a little laggits in a youth laying. New fantasy beg and billy, it is a vente de guhunga a divagash. Can you fully get any good some plan on Usumisa e world travel market Africa Lobo Bonjelly Conae Gaba? It is also a museum seven to empty and bushfire. Can't be going for what Dogbon and she say, Lobanf Labana on a long seven to Lotago. Lobia it is a banning sin this was one. Can't see it from by this fake has seen the Degumana Facebook. The committee let in for Natum Busso, Selati Swing, a Dick Bello, look for a lady far when said for any organ die business, Iguma special economic zones, good day, Swatini, Licone, Gukanga, Batanelli, Timali, Logo Vedrain, Vona, a Tiletama business, Nick Sang Salana, and Punisher Mangaba Kumalo, as Cathy Casa could see it a Gondi, one Nini Miko, more excellent Dagon, I'm said for. And young in Lepeli, Lebo Crepesha, Lababu, even let Taiwan, Bellu Lege, who mend the woods, Ake Imikomo, let us see that was Bosoma business. Babe nilsa sa sa lekto tanyela ti mali nga pan skwe tinza ule ti ketze gile. Ema special economic zones la nga pan skwe Royal Science and Technology Park kanyene eswa tini Civil Aviation Authority. In vna ite ma pizni su mitlon shwa ma ngoba kumalo uti hulmende se uvele ukalile kubuga guti lo mtetfo unga kriche lwa ganjani. We just presented uh, uh, recently uh, to a subcommittee of ministers, the proposed uh, amendment to the SZ Act, uh, and the next step is then it will be presented to cabinet for approval. This is a year, the parliament. We are busy amending that act to make sure that the feedback we've received from potential investors is incorporated in the amended act. Kulogunye invuna ipinze ya kaza guti kutatfati nyatelo le tiba legi le kinsegi za guti ema swati azuza nga lok pelele zvumalone ni setek tengselana selivigat le Afrika, the African Continental Free Trade Area. Invuna iti sevele lkona libandla le tek tengselana gle livigati le selfigi le la paeve nikte usebenda tindle la tepkwe pesha tek tengselana nga pans kwa le zvumeluano. The AFCFTA has partnered with a number of digital finance organizations, one of whom is actually AE Trade, um, the, the, the company that is uh, in Eswatini already uh, setting up. Um, uh, the digital finance companies are coming up with platforms where uh, the exchange will happen seamlessly. Uh, so all our banking uh, sector will then uh, be tied into or locked into this particular system through our central bank. Um, so that is how it's going to work. Uh, so in other words, it's a technological uh, intervention that will allow for you know, that uh, uh, country to operate in their own currency. <laughs> Tia yeti kinsegi ise kutiboso ma business be maswati angege bala tegelu eti mali tabo. Eti nzabe ende swati ni TV kubiga nelsi wenta nga manta nina fominko sinzi nisa embabane. Mima ngole ya shuge negleli hita wesegelo anga pansi welselo ele tutugi iswa wago kukiti itu wago tingkomo kanyene timbu tibuleli yeswati ni livestock value chain development lulu kuchwa inlanga ni tekseng selana mflabe ni international trade center ngegwe segelo inlanga ni mava laba mklope European Union bonga ni makakula lo buge ma plaza iti wele tegli ma uti ilo lulu lulu kale mnyage ndo pelile kansi ilo ta ufia ima petselo mnyage no 2027. Ngenlo so ekcinsegi isa guti bafu ya bakti ninje ngek tengsa inya makpela gotwa baki kita tinfo le tatlu gene. Le tipu maeti nkomeni na seti mbuti ni li tigo le tegi lima. Tita ube sege la bafu ya eti nza wene le tatlu gene ngi luati. Pongan maka kula lubuge ma plazi eti go le tegi lima. Mutaza ka bandi guti bata usebenda ganjani nga pans kwa lulelo. Ye kalaj. Ye ibuge kututugi isa i animal breeding. 
lokusho ukuthi lokukhwetisa lokukhwetiseka kwetinkomo lokusho ukuthi ke kwabuke kaloko ukuthi tinkunzi tiyashota sinalo lehlelo lokuthiwa yi bullion scheme kojana ke kwabuke kaloko ukuthi i bullion scheme emaswati manyende lakafuna tinkunzi le animal breeding component ke lokusho ukuthi tawuletha kwakhiwa kwe artificial insemination yes bili i component kutaba i animal nutrition i animal nutrition sibuke ukuthi emaswati phela asiswafundzise ukuthi atikhicitele kudla kudla sekuyadula etitolo sengachubekana naka range management yesithathu yes, component leyo le project lena ke itawufundzisa lokho ukuthi lidlelo linganakekele kanjani yesine ke i component seyibuka ke manje kokuthi wela phanjani itawubuka kufikela kwetifo kusho ukuthi yesihlani component sitawubuka kuthuthukiswa kuma feedlots le project nabe sho ukuthi sesikwentile konkhelela enkubalini setinyenti tinombolo e tinkhomo seti setikahle tikhulphele tiphilile sekumele utimakethe sidabe sikhutsata phindze sibonzisa abafuyi kwekuthi abamakethe noma bathengise tinkhomo tabo noma netimbuti tabo ngendlela lesiyithi ke manje usebentisa ukuthi kala i weight phindze futhi usebentisa ne grade tindzawo lapho kutawucala khona kubukwa kuthi loluhlelo liyasebenta yini kusezinyane ngaphansi kwenkundla yasemhlangatane ega ngakhulu enkundleni yaselibulini luhlekweni ngaphansi kwenkundla yakasomntongo kanye nemmango wasemahlangatsha enkundleni yasemahlangatsha balimbata uphinze besekelwe ngetimali loluhlelo etindzabente swatini TV kubika nelisiwe ndla ngamandla nginavuma inkosi indzinisa yembabane Tinzabeni tete midlalo, mkukweshu el kisele le siwe le ma under 20 mtutuzi ngomalo. Uti midlalo le mibili ya pungani ni el kisele le siwe la sele soto ugule mbala somvo le pelile. Iba sete kakulu kubuka kuti kuti nge kaa kuti balungi se gupi kusalung se lelo ya midlalo ya ma under 20 ya kosafa ya lo nyaga ya tau banjwa nge nyanga ya nyoni. Naleto wote milalo, sibuka la voti nzaba tetu, ten simbi, yesi tu pasta wa baasho, wote magete, masipa ya skul maange, ten zaba, tetek bagasha. Gote, lesu nyo skazi, nga pandle kwa lesu. Aba riseche, bafunze. Being risky, it means busi nalogu wa gwa yogu nula. Na ati kuna sende kukikita le mwuse mbi. Renewal of TV licenses for 2024 is now open. Here is a quick reminder. A viewer's TV license costs 180 emalangeni per device. Other accessories such as decoders and set-top box cost 50 emalangeni per device. For traders and repairers, TV license costs 300 emalangeni per business area. And now, to pay your TV license, use these following methods. You can use MTN Mobile Money with the number 76222000 or dial star 007 star 3 star 7 hash or you can use Eswatini Imali. And you can pay our TV license at any post office in the country. Another option is you can use any NetBank branch using our TV license account number 11990043030. Don't forget, when paying for your viewer's TV license, reference with your PIN at all times. And when paying for a retailer TV license, reference with your TIN at all times. For more information, call us on 7802-4543 or 34050163 or 34020879. And you can send us a WhatsApp message on 76222000.
Hocam masada mı yok Natalie? Welcome back to the program. We want to get into the monthly tourism statistical release. I do have the pleasure of speaking with Vusil Lamin, who is the new chief executive officer of Eswatini Tourism Authority. We want to delve into the remarkable performance and strategic insights of Eswatini's tourism sector. There's a notable 23.4% increase in arrivals compared to Emyageni low penny. Now, Mr. Lamini will shed light on the factors driving this growth as well as, you know, how it aligns with the authority's strategic objectives. But maybe before we get into that interview, let's allow me to reflect a little bit uh, on a few takeaways from His Majesty the King's official opening of the first session of the 12th Parliament of the Kingdom of Eswatini. The country recognizes that it does contribute to our economic recovery as well as the growth potential. Right, that's number one. Number two, now great effort is needed to increase visitor numbers and tourism spend. Now, this one is interesting because it speaks to what we want to speak to today. promote the country as a destination of choice. The industry is therefore encouraged to offer visitors a royal experience in a certain Welcome to the show. Uh, and course, it's, it's really lovely to have you here on a different seat altogether. You know, that's why now we la pelle and ito lombugel me bangaba na wuzao. Nam kukunisa tek vagasha announcing officially to those who are still confused. This is the new chief executive officer of uh, the Aswatini Tourism Authority. Congratulations for that. But I'm going to congratulate you and I'm going to congratulate the authority for having you because uh, the authority is also on there. Um, of course, I do have uh, a few questions for you. Uh, but how does it feel to be back on the program uh, on, a, on a different uh, <laughs> seat altogether? Uh, thank you very much, Mgoni. Sibonga Kakulu, Lituba. Gwetala gunga bagu bonga gutsi sipinda siltole eltu bale gutsi sikulu memsha umbesa sikulu manga gulolo nyesha ngoti ingabanga gutsi how does it feel yeah. to be coming here on a different uh, uh, note? Uh, I think for me the most important thing is that uh, if we are in this country, we need to continue serving this country and serving it right. in whichever role that we have been. Uh, given uh, by His Majesty's government, yeah. and I want to appreciate this opportunity that uh, His Majesty's government has yeah. given uh, uh, myself to to lead one of the most important Indeed. entities in the country. And um, uh, for me, uh, uh, promoting the country is the biggest thing because, as you say, Uze Umlisa, as is among our young in Tela, which is send a live a laganguan, a gube, and loan a little cat for Nangabis Kulumela, which is Bandu Batabang, Vagash and Jabatabang, loan a destination of, yeah. of, of choice. And um, I think this is a, a quite exciting times for, yeah. for, for me personally, but I believe for the country as well, yeah. as we try to see how tourism can, can contribute to the economy. It's interesting indeed because it, it, it does look like. It, the, the, the authority is appreciating, you know, what His Majesty the King said, just as much as you are appreciating it, and we do see it reflecting on the numbers. I'm looking at, you know, the factors that attributed really to the significant increase of 23.4 percent, and that's only in the number of arrivals, and compared to, you know, Lumiere Lopelile around the same time, 23.4 percent increase is a big number and you know tourism has been growing exponentially but the 23.4 percent seems like a 
a really notable change if you really compare to how it has been growing. You, you, you studied the trends. The question then becomes, what factors do you think attributed to this? Um, uh, the, 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 the one important thing maybe that one needs to highlight is that um, uh, growth is, is, is based on a number of factors. So obviously, it will be based on what activities we are doing as a country to promote yeah. the destination. And um, yeah, that, that includes uh, marketing campaigns that we, we could probably be doing. Yeah. I think I would highlight, for instance, that um, we, uh, during the, the, because Naskumbula Gatlel in Yangaya March also coincided with Sikazi Sema Istas, the team started a marketing campaign to right. actually promote uh, the destination from an Istas perspective. And uh, uh, this campaign was not just running locally, they ran in different, I think you will appreciate that when we are using uh, digital and social media right, platforms, right. then we are able to reach Ban Fulaba, Nepan, Lego Live, Lagangwan, Logo Gupinzak Fage, Ekats, Bugutsi, Gwasacheles, and the radio stations, La Kona, Kubo, South Africa, to try and push the message. And I know Radio 2000 is one of them that was used, which is widely listened to. I think that that was an opportunity, Boli Kuala Kuala, Nabo Lukose FM, to try and promote the destination. I think the team actually. Uh, has done well in that regard. We we do believe that that is one of the contributing factors. Yeah, indeed. But, but but also I think the other bit that we need to note is let's remember that we are coming from the COVID era, mm -hmm. which uh, uh, happened around 2020, yeah. 2021. The numbers went down uh, right, right. Uh, uh, during that period. Up until we we are seeing that growth actually as Sikube mm -hmm. and Dinwoti or Pena and people getting a bit more comfortable to yeah. visit countries. Uh, I think the other big uh, thing is that when travelers go to countries, normally they are concerned about safety and security. I think yeah. the one other thing that we, we can confidently say is that the numbers also are an indicator in the confidence that uh, Labai Bonago in relation to, to safety and, and, and security mm. in the country, which then makes them want to visit the country. And uh, indeed, uh, you know, the safety and just, you know, how peaceful we are has been a, a proud, uh, something that we're really proud about, Silive Lagangwa. And maybe uh, this one is going to steal from, you know, your previous experience in your previous uh, professional career. Uh, speaking on, you know, because we're speaking about arrivals. During the Easter's, as you've alluded, and we, we had the opportunity to speak to some of the people that were coming into Eswatini as uh, the newsroom of Eswatini TV. And most of them were indeed coming from South Africa, like you have said, Gusi, you know, Nina Disseminator through Radio 2000, Likwala Kwala FM, a lot of South Africans, and Mozambicans as well, people from Lesotho, Botswana were coming into Eswatini. But a bit of concern was, uh, you know, Gulama Laini, Emma Border Gate, um, you know, what can be done, perhaps, you know, Sakunisan and my stakeholders to make sure, Gutsi, going forward, Lama Laini, Abba Mangane, Gutsi, they don't spend too much time at the Border Gate. That's, that should be frustrating for, for Mundlo Varashal. Yes, uh, I think you've, you so Kulumilang and Zabai go good see good number of different stakeholders that mm -hmm. probably would need to play a role. I'm, I'm only 10 days today <laughs> in this role, and uh, I, I one of the key things that we need to work on is the different stakeholders, Lacona, yeah. particularly my ports of entry. And uh, we know that there is, there is the immigration uh, uh, department there, we know that there is the ERS also yeah. operating at the border post. There's also various other stakeholders that would impact impact a tourist as they come in. I think it is important for us to see we're on the same page in terms yeah. of what we believe uh, 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 the, uh, tourism does in terms of yeah. improving our economy so that we play our, 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 our role accordingly. We need to give our people the royal experience and the reality is that the, the ports of entry are very crucial yeah. because that is where they start experiencing the country uh, as they arrive. They start experiencing the country. So it is important that that first impression would actually be the best so that as yeah. they walk into the country, one, they, they are not going to be taking long maybe at our border posts. Yeah. I, I am well aware that... Um, Yes, from a goods perspective, maybe the ERS works on trying to improve the time that goods would spend at the border. But I believe that that also links to 
uh, that also has an impact it on the, the humans as yeah, they yeah. walk in yeah. into the country. Because yeah. whilst the ERS is focused on goods. goods coming in, but also this immigration, uh, who is more concerned on the human people, yeah. the human part, yeah. actually, the people coming into the country. Yeah. And um, I, I think everyone needs to play their role. So as I said, 10 days in, but one of the key engagements that we are planning to do is to engage with those key stakeholders. Right. Really interested in, you know, you, you have said you're only 10 days in to office. And what I've realized is with a lot of uh, CEOs, particularly of uh, your demographic, they come into office with short-term strategies and long-term strategies of their own, and perhaps you're still drafting those. Uh, you don't want, you, I don't want to have intrusive questions regarding that. But I, I do just wonder a little bit, uh, with the significant increase that uh, you have seen with this monthly statistic release, perhaps how does it align, no matter go preempt or maybe some of the plans that you have with maybe some of the objectives that you have for the year or you know for whatever period your short term is uh, when you think about it? Uh, uh, Malo, I think the most important thing with organizations is that they will have strategies. They are not necessarily linked to a human right, or a right. person as it were. But uh, the good news is that I arrive at, at ETA and I find that there's a strategy that is already in place oh, and which speaks to the different goals that need to be achieved. And um, I'm well aware that uh, in that strategy we are also talking some 2 million uh, visitors by 2027, oh. and, but also uh, 2 billion in terms of receipts or, or spend that is, yeah. that, that is uh, accumulated by, by, by our tourists as mm. they come into mm. the country. So Logutsinagutsi Swende is to try and find a way how we break that down and um, obviously look at also resources that we have to deliver on the strategy to ensure that we deliver what we are expected to deliver. Yeah, it's quite interesting because to me that shows how you honor and acknowledge the, the big responsibility that is placed upon you to really make sure that you increase. Even though you know, some of these things sound lofty and quite ambitious, two billion receipts, uh, two million uh, in, in terms of visitors, it, quite, it, it sounds to the general public, it may sound, okay, that is rather too ambitious. How, how will they achieve that? But when you look at 23.4% increase from last year to this year, you, you really do see that that's possible. And also alluding to the fact that you did say, Sister Sukakbo COVID, and people, you know, are slowly, you know, waking up to the idea of uh, traveling again. I want us to get into regional markets. And for me, this allows me to appreciate cool because you know I'm looking at what South Africa did and what Mozambique and Zimbabwe did and we are you know miles ahead of what they did South Africa for instance experienced 15.3 percent increase in arrivals Mozambique and Zimbabwe so substantial increases 42 42 and 49 percent respectively but one wonders what what efforts were made uh, to target these markets respectively coming into SOP. Yeah, uh, thank you. I, I think for, I'll start with South Africa. We already alluded to that, yeah. that the campaign, the campaign that we were running actually to, to during the Easter mm -hmm. uh, uh, period, period, actually yeah. prior to the Easter period, because as you would be well aware, people would have to plan for their visits. You don't just wake up and decide, I'm going somewhere, yeah, so you need to plan. So the campaign was started quite early to sensitize uh, 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 people, particularly in South Africa, as we have alluded to, would say the numbers have increased quite well in, in that regard. Uh, 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 Zimbabwe is also quite an interesting one. I think we would also want to to thank the, 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 the one of our partners, particularly yeah. Renac, the, 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 the introduction of, of the airline from Harare to into the country and mm. back is is also a, a massive uh, uh, contribution to the to the tourism sector because yeah. then it encourages people to actually travel Zimbabweans from from Zimbabwe into the country. Quite affordable without, too, when, yeah. and also very affordable. Yeah. I think it's quite affordable, so yeah. it encourages that. Uh, oh, the interesting bit would also be Mozambique because I think Nastao Kumbula in Mozambique introduced some restrictions later extending the band as they go into in 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 and out of of Mozambique there is those requirements like Abakone South Africa mm. of certain documentation if you are with a child and people yeah. normally would love to travel with with their families so uh, but it's quite ironic that we have seen an increase despite yeah. that and i think for me it also does speak to the fact that people probably 
appreciate they coming the to the to the kingdom, yeah. and uh, we we want to continue to encourage them. And uh, I, I think that is very very key uh, for us, uh, particularly Mozambique and South Africa, because yeah. these are our key neighbors. Yeah, we we also did uh, want us to appreciate this. France and Germany, we saw increases in their arrivals in Aswatin, but there was a bit of decline with the United States of uh, America. How can we, you know, how can we boost the appetite for, for people in America to, to come to Eswatini? Because y you look at the relations that we have with the United States of America, really good relations. And, uh, you know, we recently we heard the United States ambassador speaking to how great uh, Eswatini is, and maybe they have to encourage people from the USA themselves to visit Eswatini. You know, how can we increase the arrivals of people from the United States in Eswatini? While appreciating, yes, France and Germany, uh, we've seen substantial increases on in those regards. Yeah, uh, I think you've highlighted, Gogutsi, uh, we, we do have uh, my embassies in the country. The U.S. is also there. Yeah. And uh, I, I think the, the one important thing is that it is, it is critical that I did mention it during the, the official introduction by the minister about two weeks ago, Gogutsi. As Bosi, being myself, right, I cannot yeah. be able to do this on my own. I Indeed. think it's very important that we work with all different stakeholders and collaborate and find a way mm. to see if we can encourage people to travel uh, yeah. in, into Eswatini. Obviously, that would include all different markets that we, uh, we have, including the USA, mm. and uh, uh, not just the, the USA and other We would want to see um, even a more increase when it comes to the European market. Yeah. It, it's also encouraging that you walk the ETA and Ukanza Gwagutsi, there's someone that is actually based, a correspondent that we have who is based in the, in, in, in the Europe, in, in London, and is the one that helps us in terms of promoting the destination mm. in, in, uh, in, in, in Europe. And uh, we, we do believe that such initiatives would help us in terms of galvanizing even more numbers to come to the country. Yeah, and they should. Uh, I'm also thinking about, you know, some of these emerging markets that we are seeing, particularly in our region, we do see Lesotho, um, we see Malawi and Botswana. They have been clearly identified as emerging markets. And, uh, you know, I think that compels the authority to then, you know, leverage uh, them being emerging markets. But, you know, from my position as a journalist, I cannot really identify how you, you, you leverage uh, emerging markets in tourism. How would you, you know, suggest that you, you, as an authority, you indeed leverage these emerging markets? And I think these ones are, are quite essential because you look at the issue of uh, the, the, the distance, the radius between us and them, it's quite easier for them to travel here. It's less cost, and we essentially do need our relations with our neighboring countries to be, you know, at the strongest of ties. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an important one, but also it's a function of the products that we develop as, as a country to, and to attract, to entice them mm. to come into the country. What is it that they would want to, the, to come to the country to actually yeah. do? Exactly. And now, uh, again, for me, uh, collaboration is very important yeah. because as the tourism authority, we promote the destination, but there's also different other partners who, pay, who play certain roles. For instance, there's the, the, the ENTC, which is responsible yeah. for, for all the game reserves and, and everything that we, we, we actually would have and it's very important that we create uh, those products that would encourage people coming from those countries for instance that you're referring to as emerging markets but also if we start to realize that there are people that are coming from certain countries that ordinarily they would not be coming into the yeah. country I think it is important that we tap into into that and create collaboration uh, my, my, my theme is collaboration yeah. every time and create collaboration with those countries to ensure that at the end of the day it may be at the end of the day memorandum of understanding on how we can actually push traffic we push traffic to this site but they also push traffic to to we push traffic to them but they also push traffic to our side and create some kind of routes that people can actually use if someone is coming from Botswana for yeah. instance if we are partnering Botswana Lesotho, Botswana Lesotho uh, we know that people are coming from wherever that they, they are coming but they are able to go through these routes and they visit all these countries I yeah. think for me the most important thing is how do we collaborate yeah. firstly locally but also as a region with other different countries and yeah. uh, 
and but more than anything i think the the, the most important thing is how do we what are the products that we have yeah. that will encourage or entice people to visit the country that we can only be able to do if we collaborate with other local partners it's quite interesting and I, I do want to take a moment to to really appreciate how much you value collaboration because i believe for someone in your position it's quite important and you've been ducking every proposal that i'm pushing at you whereby i want you to acknowledge something as vusi and you're saying no 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 it's, it's not vusi it's the authority and and you further and you know appreciate that even in the works that you want to do working with other countries the collaborative efforts that uh, you you want to make sure that uh, is there i think that is very important mr lamin i want to appreciate you uh for that and you know speaking on on, on the mous that uh, you have in mind and i'm happy that there's a model uh, that uh, is already existing with i believe south africa and mozambique called the trilend initiative yeah. and we've seen how much it has helped and Perhaps it also, you know, has been one of the reasons when, why we've seen this substantial increase. Yeah. I, I want us to get into average length of stay, but before that, as we were looking at some of these emerging countries, uh, I want to take a moment to remind Babugela Makaya, for, for those that, uh, you know, have the appetite to, to attend our cultural events, what we are seeing, particularly a Bukanwin, the Bukanu ceremony, there's always a moment where we see people from outside of Eswatin. For instance, we saw Basel Mozambique this year, given the platform to go out there and showcase what they do in Mozambique culturally. We also did see, I believe, uh, from South Africa, a group of people from South Africa, Bas Performela, what they do there culturally. And Mr. Lamin, I do see how that could encourage the appetite for South Africans, people from Mozambique, just on the cultural aspect, but also linking with tourism to come to Eswatini Every time we have these cultural events that we have almost by every three months uh, to come to Eswatini. And I think that is very important. We have seen the Tourism Authority, you know, putting rubber on the ground, and we appreciate that. I want us to get into the average length of stay, which has been my favorite looking at uh, the, month re the monthly release. Uh, release. 3.6 nights, that is what you have re reported. That's the stay. Yeah. But you want to increase that. Yeah. Um, you want to increase that. H how do we, in fact, let, let's start here. We, we have seen that it, how it compares to the other countries, it's an increase. 3.6 from 3, from 2.8 yeah. in the previous years, which is something that's in Shaila Tanda. But what efforts are being made to increase or extend the average length of stay for our tourists in Eswatini? Yeah, thank you. Uh, I think, uh, again, we, as you, you, you allude to, in Zabaya, length of stay is also very important because the more you stay in the country, the more you are likely to spend. Because right. I think the, the intention is that if you stay more in the country, then you are going to contribute a bit more to the economy. Yeah. And um, then, but you don't just stay in the country. Mm -hmm. You stay because there's something that you are actually doing. Yeah. Uh, again, we, we are talking about, one of the things that we're talking about is uh, uh, relating to, 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 to to what happens in the different communities in terms of community tourism, mm. to encourage people to actually visit those places or those communities and experience the country in a different way. Uh, a, 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 an, an example would be these, these issues of hiking that we, 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 we want to encourage. We know how long hiking will probably take if someone has walked, has come into the country and we, if we've got longer hiking trails, yeah where people are going to take even longer routes, you would know that they are probably yeah. going to want to, to stay a little bit more so that they experience all those things yeah, yeah. than just walking in and spending a night and then going over. Mm -hmm. And um, there's lots of other events that we could probably be thinking about. I think we, 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 we know I want to declare the interest here because I'm a golfing guy also. <laughs> so I, I think it's, it's, it's also very critical that we, 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 we bring back that vibe in relation to the golfing experience mm -hmm. also in the country. I think it is very important because uh, golfers have a tendency to want to stay a little bit more. If they are going to be staying in the country and playing two, three golf courses, they are likely to spend a bit more, more, yeah. more nights. And I think we do need to encourage yeah. those kind of events and those kind of activities, some which may actually be driven at community level. Yeah. And then people would be able to use those uh, routes if they are routes that have been developed, yeah. that would be more hiking and probably a little bit longer. Uh, but, but I think more than anything, 
the important thing is that we need to appreciate that if someone is, 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 is wanting to travel to a country, first of all, they would be wanting to travel because they want to experience something. They are yeah. not just traveling for the sake of yeah. it. So we need to be very clear in terms of what it is that we are offering that would make people experience the country and probably want to stay a little bit more. And I think that is very important. So, Lamini, thank you so much for joining us on the program. Really appreciate uh, the insights that you've provided us on the program today. And, uh, congratulations once again. I've assumed office and, uh, uh, yeah, the way that you've assumed it to get COVID, I got to know you are heading to the Royal Command. Uh, young, we're 10 days in office with so much insights to already share with the developments happening in the tourism industry. Uh, the Swatini Tourism Authority CEO, Mr. Lamini, has provided us uh, with all of that information. As well, let me get to are you ready to own your future? Boto University Eswatini campus is proud to announce a golden opportunity for aspiring students. I am more convinced that this is the best university on the face of the planet. Boto University Eswatini is fully registered and accredited by Eswatini Higher Education Council and has opened doors to offer enrollment for government-sponsored students. At Boto University, we believe in empowering minds, nurturing talents, and shaping the architects of a future prosperous Eswatini. We produce quality graduates who propagate the growth and development of our region. With our world-class faculty and cutting-edge resources with international partnership and student exchange program, you'll receive an education that goes beyond textbooks. Boto University offers a four-year bachelor's degree in business, accounting, computing, mobile computing and network security and computer forensics, as well as health information management. Boto University. Vibrance. Innovation. Welcome back to the program. Let's look at international news. We start our stories with uh, a story talking to Gaza, where Gazans are slowly returning to Khan Yunis after being forced to flee months ago due to intense bombardments amid the ongoing war between Israel and Hamas. Now, while back in familiar neighborhoods, many Gazans are finding nothing but wreckage. There's a report. After being forced to flee months ago, Gazans returned to their Khan Yunus neighborhoods to find nothing but wreckage. Saeed Omran, a physiotherapist, says he has lost everything. This is my apartment. I have been working for 20 years for my future. Everything is gone now. What did we do wrong? No one in our family is a member of any factions. While Ali, his brother, can't believe his home could be a target. A strike hit the area. We didn't expect it to target here. We went home and were shocked by the level of the destruction. Labelled a safe zone for civilians at the start of the war, December saw the first airstrikes on the city and the arrival of Israeli troops that same month saw hordes of civilians flee further south. Israel's withdrawal came as they said their various missions in the area had been accomplished. Despite which, dozens of fresh raids on Monday morning saw several more Gazans recovered from the wreckage and taken to hospital. Israel and Iran accused one another on Sunday at the United Nations of being the main threat to peace in the Middle East, each calling on the Security Council to impose sanctions on their sworn enemy. Now, while Israel accused Iran of terrorism, Iran responded saying it was exercising its right to self-defense, and this is following a deadly Syria strike that it blamed on Israel. Setting the stage for a verbal showdown, Sunday's Emergency Security Council meeting saw Israel and Iran exchange blame for instability in the Middle East. 
Israel called the session following Tehran's retaliatory strikes on Saturday night and called on the council to designate Iran's Revolutionary Guards a terrorist organization. Iran, the number one global sponsor of terror, has exposed its true face as the destabilizer of the region and the world. As Iran's mask has fallen, the world's com complacency must also fall. The mask comes off and the gloves must come on. According to the Israeli military, Iran's attack involved more than 300 drones and missiles. It said 99% of them were intercepted, though several ballistic missiles caused minor damage to an airbase and wounded a seven-year-old Bedouin girl. Tehran launched the air assault in response to an airstrike on the Iranian consulate building in the Syrian capital on April 1st. Iran said that attack killed seven revolutionary guards, including two generals, and it has widely been blamed on Israel. At the UN, the Iranian ambassador said his country's actions fell in line with its inherent right to self-defense. This concluded action was necessary and proportionate. It was precise and only targeted military objectives and carried out carefully to minimize the potential for escalation and prevent civilian harm. Turkish, Jordanian and Iraqi officials said Iran gave notice days before its attack on Israel, but U.S. officials said Tehran did not warn Washington and that the attack was intended to cause significant damage. The U.S., who, along with other countries, helped intercept the Iranian missiles and drones, said it would explore additional measures to hold Iran accountable. Though officials said President Joe Biden urged restraint from Israel and warned that Washington won't support a counterattack on Tehran. President Emmanuel Macron said on Monday that France would help do everything to avoid an escalation in the Middle East. This is after an unprecedented Iranian missile and drone attack on Israel. Iran launched its first ever direct assault on Israeli territory late on Saturday in retaliation for a deadly April 1st airstrike on uh, the Tehran's consulate building in Syria's capital, Damascus, that was widely blamed on Israel. As missiles streaked across the Jordanian skies during the Iranian attack on Israel, regional powers were not the only ones shooting missiles out of the sky. We condemned, we intervened, and today we will do all we can to avoid things flaring up. Acting in defense of its Jordanian airbase, home to a fleet of Rafales whose primary purpose is the fight against jihadist insurrection, French jets helped intercept Israeli missiles on Saturday. France has a large security presence in the Middle East with three military bases in Jordan, Iraq and the UAE. The foreign minister spoke on national news on Sunday to nuance the French intervention. We took responsibility because we are a regional security actor. We have bases including in Jordan and UAE. And the Iranian attack didn't just threaten Israel's security, but endangered French forces and violated the airspace of our Arab partners. The French government does not want to be seen as participating in the conflict and insists that it acted in defense of its own regional presence, although Israel has hailed the support of its so-called partners on Saturday night. The IDF blocks attack in the most impressive way, together with our partners, the Americans, and others. France has cautioned Israel against retaliation, the president calling to isolate and further sanction Iran instead. An Iranian missile strike on Israel late on Saturday severely wounded a seven-year-old girl in southern Israel, the sole victim of the Islamic Republic's retaliatory attack. Attack, rather. The little girl currently in intensive care belongs to the Bidun community. Dissidents, descendants of Muslim Arab shepherds who live in the Negev are often denied many of the rights granted to other citizens. They say that we have no shelter. Lamented Amina's father, who criticized Israeli authorities for leaving him and his family at the mercy of rockets and missiles. <laughs> Rockets falling from the sky, ripping through this thin metal roof and hitting a young girl in the head, leaving her with a serious injury. Amina Al-Hassoni, seven, was still clinging on to life on Sunday evening. 
She is the sole serious casualty of the Iranian attack on Israel. And for her family, she could have been spared if the state provided equal protection to its population across the whole territory. We knew we were going to be attacked. It was on the news. The whole area is unprotected. There are no houses that can offer even a minimum of protection, not just for our family, but the whole region. She's one of the roughly 300,000 Bedouins, descendant of Muslim Arab shepherds living in the country. About half of them live in villages that are not officially recognized by the government. They can't build permanent homes, they live in small hovels, under constant threat of demolition. They don't get basic services and lack rocket sirens, bomb shelters and cover from Israel's Iron Dome missile defense system. We need protection for all these villages. We need to act with the government to prevent any more victims. In the meantime, when shots are fired from the west, it's the Bedouins who are hit. From the east, it's the same. We're the victims and nobody considers us. This isn't the first time the Bedouin community suffers the consequences of war. Seven of them were killed by missiles fired from the Gaza Strip during the Hamas attack of October 7. The United States and Israel say they achieved a spectacular defeat over an Iranian aerial attack that sent 300 munitions, more than 100 of them ballistic missiles, to Israel on Saturday. But as Sunday dawned in both places, a bigger question rose on the horizon. What happens next in this six-month conflict that threatens to envelop the Middle East? The White House on Sunday declared Iran's first direct attack on Israel an abject failure, with 99 percent of missiles intercepted before they could hit. U.S. President Joe Biden cut short a weekend trip to his home state of Delaware to return to the White House Saturday, where he spent hours on the phone with world leaders or in meetings in the Situation Room. White House officials also told reporters that Washington does not back an Israeli counterattack. The Biden administration stressed one point on Sunday. The president has made it clear we do not seek a war with Iran. As daylight dawned, Israeli leaders sought to focus on what this attack means for solidarity against Iran, which backs the militant groups that struck Israel on October 7th and sent the region spiraling into violence. We have an opportunity here to establish a strategic alliance against this serious threat from Iran, which threatens to put nuclear explosives on the heads of these missiles. This thing could be a very serious threat. The U.S., Israel, and its allies stand shoulder to shoulder to defend against this threat. Tehran vowed to retaliate for the suspected Israeli strike on the Iranian consulate in Damascus earlier this month. And Iran's ambassador to the United Nations argued Sunday that the consulate strike justified Iran's response. He stressed that Iran doesn't seek conflict with the U.S., but ended his speech with a warning. However, if the U.S. initiate military operation against Iran, its citizen or its security and interest, Iran will use its inherent right to respond proportionately. I thank you. Although Israelis expected this, it was still a harrowing night, many said the next day. Nobody knew what to expect. Everybody was home waiting. So it was totally new experience. Eventually, people were very relieved because the attack was blocked. The big question before Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is how Israel will respond. And I think Israel, in the way it's uh, calculating how it will respond uh, from now on, it also sees some opportunities for reversing the negative trend in its image within the West, given what happened yesterday and the restraint that is now projecting in responding to that. As world leaders mull what's next, for the Palestinian families caught in the middle of this brutal conflict that has consumed Gaza, Ukrainian officials are voicing concern about future military support from the West, especially the United States. Now, military commanders say they urgently need additional aid, including advanced weaponry. The battlefield landscape in eastern Ukraine has significantly worsened in recent days. In a social media post on Saturday, Commander-in-Chief of Ukraine's Armed Forces, Colonel General Alexander Sirsky, said the situation on the eastern front has deteriorated as Russia intensified its effort to gain more Ukrainian territory. Mark Boyger is a defense expert with the Center for European Analysis. He says Ukraine needs even more ammunition now, as Ukrainian forces are barely able to hold the front. Unfortunately, uh, Ukraine doesn't have enough ammunition to, to shoot back, uh, and therefore the situation now is, uh, is a bit pessimistic, uh, especially given the delays, uh, the shameful, I would say, 
uh, politicking in the Congress uh, of uh, holding uh, the promised $60 billion that are vital for the survival uh, of Ukraine. Faced with shortage of soldiers and ammunition, the Ukrainian parliament last week passed a long debated bill that will make it easier to identify men who are eligible for the draft. In early April, Ukraine lowered the conscript age from 27 to 25. Officials have expressed concern about Ukraine's ability to keep fighting on the front line and across its territory. I see what's going on with the Kharkiv and Sumer region, and that's my the biggest, I would say, um, scare. Um, and I'm afraid of they w they can attack on that on that uh, direction. And she expressed concern about Russia's increase to attack Ukraine's critical infrastructure. That would be enough just to destroy totally the um, the um, infrastructure, energy, and so water supplies, gas supply stations, and so on. That that would be enough, and people have to leave. Even them because that's the children, that's the uh, schools, um, that's their jobs, works, and so on, so on. Former Education Minister Anna Novosad and her foundation Safe Ed are working to rebuild schools. She says even under constant threats, Ukrainians are undeterred. No one is uh, going to give up. People are still defiant, and people are um, defiant about. Um, defending their country and the, the polls show that a lot of Ukrainians, the prevailing majority of Ukrainians uh, are not ready to change of uh, territory for, um, uh, for any compromises that uh, might be there on the table. Adrian Bonnenberger is a U.S. veteran who trained Ukrainian Defense Forces at the beginning of the full-scale invasion. He expressed concern about waning U.S. support and Ukraine's future. I think what will happen is Ukraine will retreat more. They will have to fight more on the defense. Uh, many more soldiers will die. Ukraine will keep fighting because for them, they have to. Uh, Russia just wants to kill Ukraine and destroy it, and destroy Ukrainians. For America, as an American, uh, another really bad thing that will happen is people will lose trust and faith in America. People will say that uh, America's word doesn't mean anything. It left Afghanistan, it's abandoning Ukraine. Some U.S. lawmakers argue America should prioritize domestic matters like border security over the war in Ukraine. In a singular moment for American history, the hush money trial of former President Donald Trump begins on Monday with jury selection. It's the first criminal trial of a former commander-in-chief and the first of Trump's four indictments to go to trial. Becoming Trump is uh, because rather Trump is the presumptive nominee for this year's Republican ticket. The trial will also produce the head spinning split screen of a presidential candidate spending his days in court. And he has said campaigning during the night. It's an unprecedented moment in U.S. history, the first criminal trial of a former president. Donald Trump stands trial on Monday, accused of making so-called hush money payments to a porn star on the eve of the presidential election in 2016. Prosecutors allege he paid Stormy Daniels to keep her from disclosing they'd had sex. At a campaign rally on Saturday, Trump lashed out at the judge presiding over the legal proceedings. On Monday in New York City, I will be forced to sit fully gagged. I'm not allowed to talk. Can you believe it? They want to take away my constitutional right to talk. I have a crooked judge. The trial begins with the process of picking a jury, a group of regular citizens who will have to decide if the former president is guilty of a crime. That could take days. Potential jurors will be asked questions aimed at rooting out those who are biased. Lawyers on both sides could try to shape the panel in their favor. But the court's aim is to select jurors who'll put their personal opinions aside and make a decision based solely on the law, a challenging task for an issue that has bitterly divided Americans. In, in terms of protocol, I don't really think he should go to prison. I think right now this, this, the country is just too divided. He has to face justice, right? <laughs> I think he needs to. He needs to pay for what he did, and he needs to not get elected. Monday's trial is only the first of four faced by Trump. The others could be yet more perilous for the former president, involving government secrets and threats to democracy. U.S. President Joe Biden this week welcomed the Japanese Prime Minister and the Philippine President to the White House to discuss security in the Indo-Pacific region. 
VOA compares Biden's policies with those of his 2024 opponent, Donald Trump. A prestigious state dinner for Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida, hosted by U.S. President Joe Biden. Earlier in the day, a bilateral with Kishida. We stand shoulder to shoulder with our allies again because our alliances are America's greatest asset. The president turned the bilateral partnership into a trilateral alliance the next day with Kishida and Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. This week's focus was on security above the tense South China Sea with the announcement of a joint air defense network. The alliance would serve as a counterweight to China, but the president was reluctant to express that overtly. The things we discussed today improve our cooperation and our and are purely about defense and readiness. It's not aimed at any one nation or a threat to the region, and it, uh, it doesn't have anything to do with conflict. Biden's trilateral summit reflects his push to work with a network of alliances with like-minded countries. This contrasts with his predecessor, President Donald Trump, who proclaimed an America First strategy and elevated personal relationships with foreign leaders over treaty alliances. This was then-President Trump in 2017, welcoming Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe to the White House. We're going to have a tremendous relationship, long-term relationship of mutual benefit with Japan. From those close associations, President Trump resurrected the idea of the Quad Diplomatic Summit. Cleo Pascal of the Foundation for Defense of Democracies says the U.S. is drifting away from that. If you're looking at the Indo-Pacific, the Biden administration is, I'd say, very much focused on the Pacific part and a little bit less on the Indian part, Indian Ocean part, and especially on the partnership with India. Both Biden and Trump have employed tough rhetoric towards China. Biden once called Chinese President Xi Jinping a dictator, while Trump's America First campaign frequently takes aim at China over trade. Let me tell you something to China. If you're listening, President Xi, and you and I are friends, but he understands the way I deal, those big monster car manufacturing plants that you're building in Mexico right now, and you think you're going to get that, you're going to not hire Americans, and you're going to sell the cars to us. Pascal says that would carry over into a second Trump presidency. I think that you would see a, a very focused um, defense of U.S. interests, but also uh, an attempt to push China back uh, out of zones that China has expanded into uh, in, in the intervening few years. And that Pascal says that would include aggressive military actions in the South and East China Seas and a diplomatic offensive in the Pacific Islands and the Indian Ocean. A year since war broke out in Sudan, analysts foresee no end to the conflict and say the longer it drags on, the more likely Sudan will become a breeding ground for terrorist groups. VOA spoke via video to a volunteer at one of the last functioning hospital, hospitals in Ombudsman. From day one of Sudan's war a year ago, fighting between the Sudanese armed forces and the paramilitary rapid support forces has ravaged Sudan's twin cities of Khartoum, its capital, and Omdurman, its largest. Millions have fled the metropolitan area because of the fighting. Some have stayed, however, either because they don't have the means to leave or, in a few cases, because they chose to stay and help. Momen Ahmed Abbas volunteers at one of Omdurman's last functional hospitals and refuses to flee the city. I cannot abandon them, especially when they rely on my support. Thus, I remain to ensure that injured individuals have access to essentials like food, shelter and medical care. Leaving would only exacerbate the situation for those in need. He says the situation is desperate at the hospital, which lacks medical supplies and security, and is vulnerable to frequent airstrikes and fighting. Humanitarian groups and international journalists have found entry into Khartoum and many other parts of Sudan all but impossible. And as a result, the world's awareness of the country's troubles has diminished. Commentators and diplomats often refer to Sudan's conflict as the world's forgotten war. Despite as many as 16,000 people estimated to have died because of the conflict and 8.6 million forcibly displaced, analysts say pressure from the international community is needed to bring the warring sides to the negotiating table. 
but one doesn't see that happening anytime soon. Sadly, I don't see this conflict as as particularly ripe for any kind of resolution right now. Uh, both sides think either that they can win or they have to win. Um, and as long as they continue to be sustained by external actors, uh, providing them weapons and intelligence, uh, then they're going to continue this fight. A recent U.S. intelligence report says the longer the war drags on, the more likely Saddam will become a breeding ground for terrorists. One analyst who spoke to VOA echoed this view. You got young people and they have all the fuel. They have the anger, they have the ethnic division, and then they have whatever the narrative about there is a just war happening somewhere. Leaders of both warring sides are wildly unpopular among most Sudanese. Neither has ever been democratically elected. Yet Sudanese civilians are the ones bearing the brunt of the ongoing fighting. Abbas says Sudan needs external help and intervention. We desperately need international support to address the crisis in Sudan. Awareness must be raised about the ongoing suffering and devastation. Yet, after one year of fighting in Sudan, it seems clear that no substantial help is on its way. Zimbabwe has Africa's largest lithium reserves and is the world's sixth largest lithium producer and supplier. Columbus Mabunga reports from Kamativi, about 700 kilometers from the capital Harare, where investors have poured millions of dollars into the lithium venture. This former tin mine that closed about 30 years ago due to declining prices has now reopened as Kamativ Mining Company and is processing lithium. Boy Joseph Dingane, a traditional leader from this poor area, says the reopening of the mine has changed the area's fortunes. Children are now going to school. Children now are not dragging themselves. They are going for work. So it has changed the community completely. The Kamativ Mining Company says it employs about 1,300 people and has exported 50,000 tons of processed lithium since it was launched about a year ago. Zimbabwean and international investors spend $100 million to make the site a working lithium mine. Meng Yang is one of the investors. Kama TV Mining Company has contributed significantly to the Zimbabwean fiscus, exceeding $8 million in taxes. With the completion of Phase 2 imminent, we expect this project to create more employment opportunities and increase our tax contributions towards the development of Zimbabwe. The cost for Phase 2 of the mining's development is $150 million. President Emerson Munangagwa hopes Zimbabwe will benefit from rising demand. Munangagwa says his government will continue to enforce a ban on exporting raw lithium so that the country raises more revenue through the sale of processed lithium. We shall value add our resource for our economy and unlocking maximum benefits from our country's abundant mineral resource. Government will therefore continue to support the drive by Kamativ Mining Company towards the processing of lithium ores into concentrates. But Farai Magu, Director of Center for Natural Resource Governance, an organization working on improved governance of natural resources in Zimbabwe, says the export ban is not being strongly enforced. He says his organization has witnessed tons and tons of raw lithium leaving the country. The companies that are exporting lithium from Zimbabwe, at first they were exporting lithium in open trucks, but because of the criminality around the, 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 the lithium uh, trade, now it seems they are under instruction that they must either cover it in tents or they must put it in containers. We should have seen increased liquidity in our economy if we were charging correctly. So most probably the lithium that is living in Zimbabwe, I think less than 50% is being declared. Uh, the rest is leaving the country illicitly. 
Zimbabwe's Minister of Mines, Soda Jemu, has denied those claims, asking for proof of the allegations. Jemu said exports of processed lithium will increase in the coming years and he believes mining will become a $12 billion industry for Zimbabwe. Unusually high temperatures of over 30 degrees Celsius have been recorded across the south of Spain over the weekend. The country's National Weather Agency said parts of the country have been 10 degrees Celsius hotter than normal at this time of the year due to warm air blowing in, from, in and from North Africa, while tourists take advantage of the warm weather to take in to the sites. For many, it's a troubling sign of things to come. A summer stroll in the middle of spring. In southern Spain, tourists in Ronda took advantage of the unusually high temperatures to take in the sights of the picturesque city. But for many, it's a troubling sign of things to come. I would agree. I think it's definitely the, the effect of uh, climate change. It is unusual. Um, we have been to Spain at different times, but for April, it is very unusual that it's as hot as it is. Um, I mean, we, we, you know, we got burnt in the sun the other day. Um, so I do think it, it, it's quite concerning. You should not be uh, looking for your own good. You should, uh, uh, yeah, it's a good weather, but look what it's doing to the planet. Spain's National Weather Agency says parts of the country have been 10 degrees Celsius hotter than normal for this time of the year, due mainly to warm air blowing in from North Africa. Over the weekend, 65 meteorological stations recorded temperatures over 30 degrees Celsius with areas including the Pyrenees, the Canary Islands and southern Galicia, even hitting 33. In Bilbao, in the Basque country, tourists enjoyed searing heat in a region more commonly known for cooler weather and rain. I don't think this heat is normal in northern Spain at this time of year. It's difficult to understand how in April we can have such intense and excessive heat. The high temperatures continued on Sunday for the third day in a row. But Spain's weather agency says they have finally started subsiding in the north of the country. Just 31 minutes after 7, we'll go for a net break. Uh, Lungalele comes back with an interview for you after the break. <laughs> Renewal of TV licenses for 2024 is now open. Here is a quick reminder. A viewer's TV license costs 180 emalangeni per device. Other accessories such as decoders and set-top box cost 50 emalangeni per device. For traders and repairers, TV license costs 300 emalangeni per business area. And now, to pay your TV license, use these following methods. You can use MTN Mobile Money with the number 76222000 or dial star 007 star 3 star 7 hash. Or you can use Eswatini Iman. <laughs> you can pay our TV license at any post office in the country. Another option is you can use any NetBank branch using our TV license account number 11990043037. Don't forget, when paying for your viewer's TV license, reference with your PIN at all times. And when paying for a retailer TV license, reference with your TIN at all times. For more information, call us on 7802-4543 or 34050163 or 34020879. And you can send us a WhatsApp message on 762220000. I'm 
World Health Organization World Health Day which is a day commemorated on the 7th of April every year Samaswati sit for equality health care a deep lela stubloga salonyaga city my health my rights to commission and I talk to Bongi Ovaguti Inga Bevele implement Tega in Lena Lestubula Lesi a deep lela Daguleli. She is the deputy director uh, clinical services at Digole Tempilo. Thanks so much, doctor, for joining us this morning. Um, the Ulanga Lil Kuli Dolo, uh, Gimi Nil Digole Tempilo. Um, Gumagus Kazan Joguti, Yinga Slasa, a World Health Day. Why do we commemorate this? Day, Libale and Ganangel Lang and Ugusi, the school of Salonia and his Ketaganjan, my health, my right, he needing Gonay and Tibu Village. Okay, Siabonga Kulu Mogelega El Selweni, Sabafo Celebonga, Babu Gele Makaya, Ilangale World Health Day, Lang and Kuga Kulu gets it in a bed and below. I gang one a pella, got one J. M. Sabin Wonga Chigele, Noba Lilanga. Lapo kona umshaba onge wa vumela na guti guta ufanela gani ngemia ube kona skatule sisi tata ngo zibu ge guti gule dembilo ngo pile sta u fokasa ngo ngo pile sta kunisa ngo pile sta kusa pota gulo mnya lo kusho guti lilanga lela establishwa tinga tinga 1948 eh, mva oba se kwe shule le timbi temshaba eh, mbi temshaba ekala na mbi temshaba esbili Yashia umshaba ushaegili kune gukula kune tifo kwa kuna yoyoke nje indo longa itabanga emva kwe tivi kwa sege kia bona gala kuzi hai kuzi slungi se lente la lo segungi kwe tembili vele kwe afuna ya siti kube delilanga le stako shala jalo siti buta kuzi silungi sa indo nyaga endi lo nyaga singu umshaba honge embilue ni si focusa on what Lilanga is in Chabela, who is getting a swat in Jehovah's house. She looks in Liban, Shaka seven, good April, got to get a two slow Yaga seven, April, a bang and so on for such a bull, a cool losing on the seal, Siguli, Kilita, Litten Allah, a bullum Shaka fifteen, La Poga Connors, Bessie, a corner with Sisi, commemorators, a celebrator song as Ganya Ganya, Siltigo, let them below, Ganya, I am Sabusang and a great and below, Nema partners, a two great show, let us see Sitago, a Tigueni. Was a stock on a window on seven to eight. Yeah, Gongosi Invalacia Tigo, Doctor Gutsi Vele, as a Minister of Health, the past years. Yes, Liti Gole has a better cool, eh, Sia Bonga Kuluzi, Sina Holumende, Low, Lisa Porta Goltigo, a good name, let's go achieve it. And yet to go to the cool as if any, see a vessel's Buganje, Logule, see a special as an actual look at my pillis, Bessel Bangazuzi, Abuseben, to what I guess a chain that he went, Lenga Gushonje, Lenga Traza, a Sikoni Leguzi, see achieve it, HIV target, Lea Setong UN, was why it's a teller, Emma Veonge, the target, let's see. 95 95 95 lokusho ukuthi bonke abantu labanegciwane laba 95% wabo eveni sebaya sathi isimo sabo eh lo 95% lo sathi kosimo sakhe 95% wakhe sewuvele sewuwacalile emaphilisi ekuthenzi balisa igciwane le HIV ema ARVs eh nalabo lasebase laseba treatment ye HIV 95% wabo sebakhonile ukuthi ba suppress babe ne viral suppression lokusho ukuthi leli nani leli gciwane nelulaka leli gciwane selwehlisiwe emtimbeni wakhe loko kusho impilo phela umuntu aphila nalo gciwane so i achievement eqala lesi ichenya ngayo silive lo 95 95 95 target eh lokunye kwesibili nalo ligciwane le TB impela lehlile kakhulu eveni emva ukuba hulumende asukumile through litiko letempilo kanye netihlobo tenkosi emapartners la supportako salwa nalo ligciwane le TB 
abusho ukuthi liphelile kodwa nje siyabona ukuthi lina nani lakho lase liphasi kakhulu le TB le beyigwamile le beyingafuni ukuva i-treatment noma siyiniketa kumuntu cishe sikhonile kuyingcoba lokunye lesikhonile kungenda lokuyi achievement ukuthi sikhone ku ufaka lolu hlangothi lwaka HPV vaccine eh eh even laka ngwane loko sikwende eminyaka eno pheli 2023 sa introduce i HPV vaccine lo lo njovo lo uniketwa cishe emantfo badane lana 9 years to 14 years eng lapho siqale khona kodwa akusho ukuthi sitawugcina khona sise tawuqhubeka siye kunale minye iminyaka sibuke futhi nakubafana ukuthi siqala nini ngoba ibonakele indzaba yale ligciwane le HPV lesithi human papilloma virus ukuthi iye bese seyibanga lesi le cancer yesi yesi yemlomo wesibele etho lesi cervical cancer so ukuthi ke sijove even lonke sihlisa noma sivikela lokuthi laba lesivele situkulwane lesisha sibe sesidevelopa le cervical cancer in the future so we achievement lesijabela kakhulu lenye achievement lesingede sayishiya ngilena yekuthi si introduce i treatment ye cancer lapha even lesithi chemotherapy umjovo lo lo hlasela i cancer emtimbeni ubula le lawo ma cells la affected eh siyati ukuthi nakhona sise angafike ekugcineni kwetinhlelo leti 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 lapha e cancer kodwa ndesesiqalile le chemotherapy seyikhona iyatholakala eveni esibedlela asethuka manzini lapho khona be kuyi TB hospital khona cishe sekuvele sekukhethwe khona ukuthi bengi lapho silapha khona bonke labaphathe edinkinge nde cancer kanye naye embabane government hospital siyati ukuthi ezi siqhubeka senta yonke le mitamo le sitalibona lezi zinga le cancer eveni selehla impela ngoba beselicalile kwethusa lenyuka ngemandla sekubonakala ukuthi kungilenye nayo i epidemic le kufuna ukuthi siyithathe siyinakisise eh kulokunye futhi leku achieve ngiko ke kwakhiwa kwe maclinic nje ku highlight ile ekune maclinics lamanengi lakhiwa ko sive se siyakhona ukuthi singathola i treatment yaso dudane naso singahambi libangalelithi siyati ukuthi bani labanengi labaphathekile bakede bakhona ukuthi bathravel emalong malong distances bayobamba ma line lada bachithela sikhathi baphinze bafunele namabhase kuye ekhaya so tintwe letinjalo kakhulu ngolo hlangothi luma NCDs lapho khona selapha khona koshukela nabo diabetes cishe sizambile ukuthi emaphilis lamanengi abe ngale maklinik ile abe dvutane naso sikulane sikulane singahambi libanga lelithi lokuthwela kala i treatment ukuqeza kwa vita nje ma achievements doctor but ndawo funa ukuva mhlawumbe ma challenges because that ukuthi kune ma achievements phindi futhi bena ma challenges ezinje nisebenda nini litiko letempilo what are the challenges that still persist nje lesibhekene nawo silive leswatini Yes, you can see. So the achievements got to get footy. We say, "Come on, let's see some of our own things. Some of our challenges. That's why I said, 'Jigula Malanga, let's go and show the challenges. We're going to see what we meet here to a different level. We are so short, Ella. But now, but now, we're going to see what we can do. 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 We're going to see edolope kwenti wa yini ngoba phela umuthi bekufanele ngikuthole isibhedlela so sise nayo ke le challenge leyo uye ukuthi imithi yethu esibhedlela ayisiyo leyenele kodwa ke lokuhle ukuthi litiko lisebenta kakhulu ukuyishintsha lendlela hulumende labe kathi a order ngayo le mithi ayingenisa even le mithi inetindlela letinengi tekungena endi tiba tindze kakhulu tibe setenta kuthi ke ngekhamba kwesikhathi ukhandze ukuthi sitoko sethu sesiyehla asisakhona ukuthi sibe na enough kodwa ke siyabonga ukuthi kuneni lo sekwentiwe emasinyane the situation leyo itawungcobeka sitawukhandza ukuthi bantu sebaya esibhedlela bafike bathole yonke imithi yabo dokotela labe kapha odele yona khona lapho esibhedlela so ukuthi udinfo lesibona ukuthi tiyalunga noma titawuthatha sikhathi yeah so ngekusho ko enhlangano ewho dokotela ewho yavetela lokuthi vele millions and millions of people la emhlabeni ukwenza ukuthi imhlamba etimphilo tabo tiyathekemeteka and ukwenza ukuthi vele baba sengingeni lenkhulu kakhulu ukwenza ukuthi bashiye emhlabeni ngabe kubangwa yini lo ngabe kuba khona kwale tifo lese tithi nengi lese sitibona tivela lathi ngakavami futhi emhlambe kubantu balaye Africa ngibe kusenja bo Parkinson's disease sethi nengi kakhulu tifo ngabe emhlambe ngikwe yini lo lokubanga ukuthi vele etimphilo tebamhlabeni tithi kameteka 
Yes, Tifosa di nengle di kona le di figile. Le tinye be ti kona gatze. Se si koshi we ngato. Se si nalo kuti di chela kuti se sti ngobile. Gwa se se kbona gala kuti ti pinze se ti avuga. Di fo le di neng. Le ti faye kati bona labo, labo, labo polio. Le be se sti chele kuti hai polio. Afrika so, kuti se so um ngobile. Nabo kole ranje, be se base le tinza wen le ti tite. Gule li, gule si funda se Afrika. Goto si abona nyele kuti kole ra unzo. Ngo sanisho na se minyango ye chosi li vela gangwane. So gune ngi gugula vele lo se gugula vele lo gune gusha lo kwa ikati yona le COVID-19 le sbe na umkusha na le COVID-19 le gusha lo go lo gune gudzala guya vuga gupinze gubuye guto threatnisha i population yetu. Nga pande kwe kukula gupinze gube kona timbi tinza wen le teshu wa shugene le sisi nge ma conflicts le timbi le titenda bandu kutiba nga bine nishala gashe i social welfare ya ko. Ba shugu metege, ba suge, eti nza wenda bo labe ba teja ele, ba nga tfoli ne manti egu na tala shobile, ba nga tfoli ne guja lo wenele lo wela kumtimba, bese gegu kuku la se kutfola li chubale, kusi mbunge nega lo lagu lo omu tuloi. Spinze futi sibe na le, tinki nga le se tikon nage gu enda lueni, gu environment. Ni environment yetu se yashin jaga kulu, si ati kuti gu kona lo kutuwa ng climate change. Climate change na e ufige wa shincha kakulu e gupila kwe tu ngoba. Climate change u afecta umuwa ele so kwe kumlaro. Lo ngena nge kate mapashini u kanzakale kuta usi umuwa ele tobi. Lo bese so ubanga kukula kumundu. Upinze climate change a afecte nisho na le dilimo tetules dilimago e masimini. Na kona bese sifu no sesi basi ngani. Na kona kena nga besi funo sesi basi ngane si ati kutise kune tinki nga tabo malnutrition bamba na seba nako kwa shioko. Na bo bandla bata la seba kwa lagba na tinki nga leti tite leti kombisa wutu mtimba wongi. So gune ngi lolo wente gago emshabeni wonge chigelele. Lesi nga tinje at a global level lolo wenda kuti vele gube gune ngi lo kukula. Bese sesi kanza gala gule right here to your health sesi bane kutika meteka. So, WHO pins a vete, Dr. Gugutzi, over 100 countries, 140 countries in Jilam Sabini, by a recognizer of health as a human right. And I will assume Gugutzi Nati, saying a certain use, I recognize that we fall under that list. Guva Gugutzi, do we, does the ministry give equality health services to Yamaswati? So, it will unveil the equality health service. And I speak a deep bit later. That live long, fulfilling, and responsible lives. The vision is to build an efficient, equitable, client health system aiming for the highest standard of health for Emaswati. The commitment is to build an efficient, equitable, and quality care. So, mshamshanga na nagasi vile kubona vile kuti maalumu yelo bandu mbilueni awana gele legi gasi tini si abonga kuti constitution yote la rangwane iali paramisa li lumu yelo demu ili paramisa ngo na kona ya kuti mbil so sina maye alama vile ba washo kuti ka aya i observe vile i raiti mungu mbilueni ndi logo chefu tulo kunyele sikuboni ni kuti lisinga highlight alo kumbisa kuti vile. Hulumende utimisele kusinigeta quality care or quality health services. Sinakala nje kona la kutrain weni kwe bandu la basi nagele la opela tisebendi dembilo. Tisebendi dembilo, titrain iwe, futi tiyan nagele lwa kuti tiregista kase. Ini bonge la banya bangange na la banga ka traini kikase. Gune mtetu nje nje la le strict le kubuga onoko. Sisi sibe na lama councils, lisi tukne nursing council, pinza futi kubwa ne ne medical and dental council. Lao ma council lao ayakwe ni sisi zako si wonge lotu unes, noma unto kutela, noma un pharmacist, noma unban. Vile unuye watrainer, logo kusho equality mbilwe. So kuka la do, wesbili ni yoyo na le infrastructure, le dakiu, le le sti le sti bonaro. Se wakiwe ma clinic la mashega bimanch. 
lafuna kuba nesiqiniseko noma la qinisekisa ukuthi la kule clinic is provide the best health care lesingaba nayo kwesibili lokunye lesibonile litiko lempilo line ma programs lahluka hlukene lelo wasethile laqala le ekufundziseni ngetempilo athubeke aye ekugudeleni ekuvikele ka preventive services athubeke aze ayofika lapho khona umuntu asangena khona esibhedlela langabe kusho ukuthi akakhona ukuthi kungavikele ka kubhulu lawo ma programs now asebenza kusukela le community le city community health provision athubeke all the way ngisho kugoma kwebantwana solo kuhamba kulawo ma programs lawo lasethiwe ukuthi abe nesiqinisekiso ukuthi vele lokungeheld lesikutholwa ko sibantu futhi singemaswati ku equality ngakuthela nje ukuthi ngisho nemijovo lena lesi lesigoma ngayo kwantwana i manage ithengwe noma nganjani ithengwa ngesheya ithengwa vele lapho kwatiwa khona ukuthi kune mjovo lo equality so ngingasho nje impela ngithi litiko litimisele kabi futhi litama ngawo onke emadla ukuthi emaswati atholelwe ku quality care ngisho emapilis lele siwatfola ekuhlala emabandla phasi lamaneng lahlukene labuka ngokuthi lo muntu lo tasilethela le liphilis usilethela lo ngayini lingiyo yini lelivunyelwe betempilo betemhlaba which is who uba nawo naye imgomo lethite ukuthi amekishe sho ukuthi emaphilis ivele aba laphephile so konke lo leto tindlelo leto solo ti supporta kona ukuthi cha emaswati athola quality care size sibe ngisho ne program lebuke yona le quality care leti pelela isibe nelicembu le 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 team lethi tele hamba ihlola ukuthi ingabe eti pelela isalandzelwa yini yona la ma standard procedures le kufuna ukuthi alandzele bona la ma guidelines siyawalandzela yini bona kuhlanteka lokwa bo prevention of infection sisakulandzela yini sinako yini bona le lezinga ukuthi siku 70s labo PPE lesikhuluma ngabo bakhona yini so konke lokho ukuthi ihlelo litiko lelitile likubeke kanye kanye ukuthi kuqinisekise ukuthi emaswati athola quality care. Okay, sisa lapho nje ku quality care doctor. I think I saw a post on Facebook a while ago. I think someone had posted ukuthi bengi sibedlela thite bengi blawa ngumkhuhlane but then basebonisa bamthesta konke HIV pregnancy. So nakhala in fact this person ukuthi angaceli thesa sinoma ngetimbo letimini but bayangithesta kuqala I'm not pregnant ngiyasathe semo samsempilo ingabe nifike kanjani as a ministry ukuthi vele sale nihlola konke umuntu ngafika emfola mpilo adofuna lesethu yes siye sithanze ukuthi umuntu nasafikile phela emfola mpilo abe sese uthola the full package eh e healthcare la ngayithola kakhulu kakhulu phela sinale sicubulo lesithi kuvikela kungcono kune kwelapha So uma senda njalo sikuniketa lelithuba lekuthi sikuscreen sikuhlole ukuthi ingabe uma njani kuletimo lethu sisikwe sendela khona phela ukuthi umuntu ato khona kusheshe asidakale uma uma ngabe ukukhona lapho athesta khona positive asheshe athola kale kusuke kungasiko ukuthi kumbe sesiyamedzelela noma sesiyamaharas nekuthi ke phela abantu abafuswa kodwa nje ke siyabagugudela ukuthi bawasebentise lama services asavele asakhona ma services a akhonela bona ukuthi basitakale kuwo so si si encourage kakhulu ukuthi si screen uma si screen asisheshe siyibambe elo mkhuhlane useyakahambi lichi emtimbeni useyakaqali kumbe nekwenta umonakalo engabekisa nje nge TB uma si screen le TB sikubuta le mbuto sikubuta yakhwehlela kunjani 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 sisheshe bese siyabona ukuthi lo muntu lona ngahle kube so uyihabulile le leligciwana le TB bese se siyakhona ke kufaka kubo X-ray sikuthi sikufuna nesikhwehlela nangabu naso sisipopole sisheshe silibambe ligciwana elingakahambi kakhulu ngoba lahamba kakhulu emtimbeni ihla bese lento umonakalo lo mkhulu kakhulu futhi libese li kube se kuyadula kwelapha sifuna sesihambe lichi so screening sisi encourage jakhulu silitiko letempilo siyacela ukuthi ema bantu emakhaya bangakuthatha ngekuthi siyabeya nasithi awumane wentena nako awumane wentena nako awumane wentena nako ngiyathi lokuthi kuyabambelela ngoba kumbe usuka udijeli lekuthi hayi ndawo kusheshe ngicedze sibedlela kodwa ke lama services lawa ekusisita singemaswati usasinda nje ne TB doctor I think ukukhulumile vele ukuthi senende ma achievements kubo HIV TB then ufuna ukuthi ukuthi ngabe isekhona envele stigma noma ke discrimination against bantu laban HIV TB ngaba ne mental illness and disability as well ngisa kubona into especially amongst family members ungamangala stigma sisekhona
Gune ngulo kwenye iwe, kwe shisa stigma, eh, kwa funziswa, eh, sifeni, eh, de bandu ba, ba kaniselu, wakutika pela asi kwa yaani, nangabe kumbe kona kula lengnago, kuna noma kumbe lomunye anago, asi supportane, sinagelilane. Mba, ngalenye la ngangimi, ngalenye la ngangwe, ngalenye la ngangangjalo kwa njalo. Eh, gune ngulo kwenye iwe, kwe shisa stigma, eveni. Eh, eh, kakulu besis kulu kule nza bayaka HIV, na ATP, mba, na LOTP, abesa asosietwa na HIV nayogi mental health or mental illness he has attracted a cool stigma so as much as you say and you can stigma solo is a point sis born and honey sis born and you see a band who now beta is better but let's go cool and also go humble little loss a good master cheese lasa advanced logo push over now to the moon to a bush of having a good for a cool a big over got a big cover i was hey man humbang your booga lens are bad Kanzagala would sing in a loguna loguna, besetting the bundling pillar now. So, the late presentation of, of, of sickness is shown on a booty, Lumun to Usuga Esab, and over a bush of Usue and Abon to a pool. Logunia for the sick bonil, as Bonnie would see band battalis where Emma Pilis a good lenity, Bessie M. Cassin and Negunas about a treatment, Bessie by a year. But coming a little langer, Seba Bandula Banga, and I said Bagabawa Natala or my Pilis. Go to a good name, Matestilla, take a cool jelly and HIV. Labes, I am born a good eye, the infection, then I see a lamb of a insal. Logo Combisa on a good silo moon to a moon to less a mela papa billing was so we shield the linens by a care treatment. But it's of Kamugana Mutlagas or Mount Longagas and a conage who Combisa seen a good silly stick masses a corner. Is the candidate put to the band of a name by a two legger would disclose a number of the Uchela Labo Laba Laba Tetan and Abo, would the Pella meaning a Lashera Luna Luna Lobo. Nasem seventeen, a good Naleo King and Woodsy Banga Connie would disclose a listener's catagum cash, a defendant city. They will find a little to sometimes would disclose upon an hour would offer to have him seventeen. So don't get a talking for it, Tisek Horn. What one day, Gunnin was a good deal, Guza Makumoba in the bias stigma in the country. Okay, good thing, one minute, Doctor Mgumba, we encourage and you, Bamfuzba Sume, by Sumulati Lu, Eto Limpilia, by all Sola Simos Abos and Pilo, Bogdabato, what to Woodsin TPT for Labana to Bato de Lap. Yes, Nasiti, my health, my right. Sisha Woodsi, Tembilo, Dam, Lilungelo Lam, a Stubulo Salonia Sale World Health. Logo Gusha would see who funnel them so mele a two, needy nagi. Even a string so would in below am in Nagele Legile, Langabego Kola Gup Sun Conang, Hambang, ye would bet them below bass, I'm a bona bapopole with Gunja. Less of Stubulo, see pins a foot sick to put it in a whole man. Who see a whole man? Pella, who the Lungelo Laboban would see but four let them be a lava dancing up. So who mende, we had to put elegant and I would see a provide. La ma health care services la ba watinga kuban. So nati ge siri tigo leten bidos ya tutu dela ga kuluk ban ruti asisugu me ni malanga ni si eti pele la na ngabe si fa ruti hai inga zusi ku kona lok solisa gemtimbe. Sometimes uye no magna solis uye ti checkage uye ne general examination ni alose se ku kalab siga se atep siga ku ne mikutla ne lemne ngle ba kona kuba khona ngo chicken pox kube khona eh bo flu kube khona even lukhwekhwe kube khona nabo pink eye eh imikhuhlane levamile nje psika leyo so siyaqoqudela na khona ukuthi ungadlali phela ekhaya sikumela edulu uye mthola mpilo ngoba lokunengwa leyo mikhuhlane uyathathelana and uma kuthathelana kube sekwenta ukuthi bese sekuhamba kakhulu sekuyagebetsele kakuma communities Thanks so much, Mr. Kolo, Doctor. And that was Doctor Wongiwe Malinga. See, you get and just from Mr. Kolo's name, Mr. Vele Swatini, who is a member of the Bani Gete Civil Society Equality Healthcare Services. But let me get to space to present them. Go to the news cards in a panther wireless. About research, about phones. Being risky it means we cannot go away or go nowhere. Now, if we send the bucket to the wrong side,
just a minute before 8 a.m. this morning. Yeah, thank you so much for joining us today. We're only three days away to the big day, the 19th of April, the King's birthday, 56th birthday. So, we'll see you tomorrow.